Welcome back my dear students. I hope you're having a great day because things will get a little more interesting from this point on. Okay, so when we start our uh, HTML document, so what we know at this, at this point is we type this tag manually and this one right here, we type everything manually. Okay, did you know that there's a way uh, for us to be able to type it faster or there's a way to just a uh, few press of a button and we have everything to start uh, coding in HTML okay some of you might uh, if you have done some research uh, in advance you might already know it okay so here's the thing so let's go ahead and create another file right click on it new file and then type it emit that HTML. I mean, you can name it whatever you want, but uh, I'll just uh, put here Emmet that HTML because Emmet is the name of that technique that we're gonna be using. Okay, if we're gonna search in the browser, okay, as you can see, it says. Let me just zoom in. The essential toolkit for web developers. Okay. Uh, it's a toolkit that can Im greatly improve your HTML and CSS workflow. Okay, so basically here, 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 here is how it, how, how it works, the basics. Okay, so to start an HTML document, once you created a file, you will just type the exclamation point, right? See, as you can see, there's Emmet abbreviation. What we're doing right now is an abbreviation for Emmet. There's a lot of uh, uh, stuff in there, but this is the basic. Uh, what we're trying to learn right now is how to start HTML documents faster without having to type the HTML tag, the head tag, and the body tag. All right. So anyway, going back, I'm just going to erase it first. So type the exclamation mark and then tab on the keyboard okay as you can see everything is already here all right I, I I'll just make my font uh, size is smaller maybe 20 so you can see okay everything maybe I'll max maximize it okay, let me just put it back uh, 25 28 maybe all right after we did that, look look at that. We already have the HTML tag, the head tag, some meta tags, and the body. Let me do it again. So I'm going to erase everything and type exclamation point and then tab on the keyboard. All right, see how fast that is? So now we can put the title of our website, my website, now we can type uh, start typing h1 by the way when you do uh, the h1 and then tab it's also part of the emmet uh, technology okay when you do the p tag and then you tap uh, and then you press tab on the keyboard and it auto completes it's part of the of the emmet okay uh, program so this basically helps us become more productive fast okay so if you will have I'm going to introduce you a new element in this video before I end it it's called the IMG element okay after you type that press tab and it will auto complete okay so I'm going to preview first this one in the browser for h1 I will put here new element then the img element okay and then this element is used to display an image on the browser all right so i'm pressing alt z on the keyboard to wrap the text so i'm going to drag this file to my browser as you can see we have it right here we need to put an hr tag as well 
please follow along with me trust me the only way you will improve your coding skills is by coding all right there's no other way but to start coding so now we are going to display an image in our browser so how are we going to do that if you want to see after we type img and press tab on the keyboard we already have some other stuff right here what what is this okay this one is the source of an image this we're going to put the link of the image this time it's it's located in our computer okay but if it's online we can also put it here alt is to describe the image that if for some reason the image did not fail to load in the browser if there's a technical problem for some reason the image here will display and we're gonna be talking about that more in detail in the next video all right so let me erase for this one uh, the information that you see here because right here we only have the name of the tag h1 and p this one we have an additional information it is called the attribute okay attribute just for now take note that these are attribute it's going to be very very important in our in the succeeding lessons in our succeeding videos so please take note of that we have re i'm gonna be when i say attribute i'm referring to those things here uh, an additional information inside the tag okay because we can put here height okay we can define a height let's say 100 pixels okay i'm not i'm not gonna do that right now i don't want to overwhelm everyone okay so let's take it slow right web development is very very a uh, vast html is vast so the only way to learn is to take it slow all right and learn step by step and uh, this course is what it's all about okay so for aside from this image we can also put here an attribute for each one okay we can put here style you can say color and then red okay save that and it will change the element okay you don't have to worry about this right now if it's hard for you but if you're understanding it if you're getting it great but the my point that i'm trying to uh, say uh, at the moment is that we have things called attributes in html okay this is an attribute this is an attribute okay so i hope you have learned something in this video take care my friend and have a good one see you in the next video